Before the video starts, I just want to give a quick shout out to Dizzy Pink for reaching out to Uncle Punch. And Uncle Punch, thank you for making this accessible for people that are interested in playing Bloody Roar. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, the first thing that you want to do, obviously, is already have the Dolphin Emulator. And you want to have Bloody Roar Extreme itself. And you want to have these two cheat codes. You want to have Enable Debug Mode and Training Mug Debug Pause. In the action replay codes so to go to the action replay codes you right click bloody Roar extreme go to properties ar codes and add them respectively by their names and the code once you boot the game up you're going to see this bar at the bottom and along with these numbers so once you see that you want to head straight into training mode you want to select the respective character and the dummy or cpu whatever you want to call it select the stage and the next thing that you want to do is pause the game now right off the bat you will notice that you are not in the normal training mode pause menu you are in fact in the games pause menu like the literal games data's pause menu you're in the developer tool kit basically so what you want to do is pause the game go to game turn the stage off so you can see the ui much clearer go to gauge turn that off and you don't want to mess with your model um, it's not going to crash the game or anything. It's just if you're focusing on your character and you want to see the hitboxes and whatnot, you want to keep your model in, obviously. So you want to go to touch and you want to make it DA so you can see the hurtboxes and hitboxes of your character. And this is only an option, but you can turn CPU off if you don't want that on screen either. The next thing that you want to do is go to mess at the top and you want to go to attack to. So you can see the frame data of your character's moves, and voila. Now you have access to your character's hitbox and hurtbox data. In terms of the controls for the debug menu, now I'm using the default GameCube controller, so I'm going to explain to you uh, basically how I do it, or how it's done by default. Um, you go up, down, left to right with the D-pad and you rotate the camera with the C-stick or the right analog stick, whatever you're gonna map it to, and you use the shoulder buttons, R for, to zoom in and L to zoom out. You can zoom out super far, you can zoom in really close, and you press Z uh, to uh, put the camera back at its default angle. Thing is, uh, when you hit the character, uh, when you hit the dummy, it's gonna be kinda hard to see the hitbox. So what you wanna do, actually, is go to game, and go to effect and turn it off. Now, since we just turned the effect off and it's not taking effect, no pun intended, uh, you wanna pause the game, you wanna hold Z, and then you wanna press start. And once you do that, you'll be taken back to the title screen, but you won't see anything, it's just gonna be pitch black, but you'll see the UI, of course. So once you're back on the character select screen, you'll actually see the hurt boxes of the respective characters on the, uh, the models Marvel. on their models and you want to go back to the stage and when you transform when you do a certain attacks you won't see any freaking effects or uh, effects or none of that so it's gonna be a lot easier to see now to see the characters moves uh, frame by frame you hold uh, you press you pause the game and you hold the Z button as you can see the characters is moving like literally frame by frame uh, we'll just do Uriko's jab and just press Z pretty slowly and as you can see right there there's her uh, high jab hurt box oh well hip box excuse me the hurt box are the blue circles the red uh, circles are the hip boxes so that's something to take note of um, H is for startup J is for active K is for recovery, PW is base power, NG is block stun on light guard, and BG is block stun on heavy guard, DM is for hit stun, and CT is for hit stun on counter. Now, the reason why the NG and BG are probably the other most important is because Bloody Roar is the only fighting game series with two different types of guards. There's Light Guard, which is just pressing nothing, but as you get an attack, your character will uh, block with one arm. For Sheena here, or Marvel, whatever you want to call her, she's using one arm. Uh, another thing to take note of is the fact that... Um, actually, let's turn the effect back on. Is it going to take effect? It's not going to take effect, okay. So let's go back real quick. As you can see... Uh, th there's a blue sphere when the character is light guarding and plus they're using one arm So there's two little cues to take note of when fighting somebody uh, fighting a character 
this is a light jab and this is a heavy attack now as you can see there's a blue sphere here and there is Sheena using her two arms to block that's a heavy guard this is a light guard that's a heavy guard if she's using both of her arms to block then that's a heavy guard if you see this purple ring in this purple sphere then that is a heavy block that was just performed by the uh, opposition something else to take note of is that this emulator can crash because of this cheat so if it does just restart the game and you'll be back in the debug you know granted if you remember how to set it up and everything so it won't like mess anything up completely it'll just crash the emulator um another interesting thing about this whole debug mode thing is the fact that you can actually turn off the light and it'll give the models uh, uh i guess let's say interesting look i don't really know but uh you can really see how the models kind of uh pop out you can see the detail a little better or for worse really depends on your perspective but um, you can also turn off the hitboxes as well, uh, just go to touch and just turn it all off and you can view the models normally which is pretty nice. Uh, you can also disable the other model, uh, the CPU, just go to player 1 and then make it off, uh, turn the display off, excuse me, and it will be turned off just like that. You can do the same for yours as well, so now you can't even see neither one of the models which is funny looking, uh, but there's a Rico and there's Sheena uh, you can either make it as model or a model pivot it doesn't really matter but yeah at least to my knowledge uh, but yeah so I hope this video has been helpful hope you guys enjoyed it and I uh, had I had I kind of had fun making this um, I had to fix some things here and there but other than that you know I really did enjoy making this um, excuse the texture mods of Sheena and Rico, by the way, these are not defaults, of course, obviously, because you know my name's there and whatnot, but yeah, um, I hope this has been an informative video, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next upload, whenever that will come, once again, thank you, uh, Uncle Punch, for doing this for us, it's been really fun. And uh, I hope a lot of people find this useful uh, when studying Bloody Roar. And hopefully we can have more people help us, um, you know, get the frame data down for these characters on a wiki someday and stuff like that. Because we can't just have one person doing it since there's 15 plus characters in this game. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Peace.